Welcome back to another final table commentary. If at any point in time you find yourself not enjoying the commentary, not caring for it, just go check out BCP Poker Replays. They have got all the action for us. Let's get started. We've got Raffle Shove with 100 blinds. Amadi to his right with 45. VBV with 30. Got Pwn Diddy with an ace and a nine. They're going to bump this up. Don't know if Raffle Shove's going to come attacking just quite yet with Jack 9. Got CPU roller over there. Sloan with sixes in the small blind. Nacho in the big blind with queen six zero. Oh, very shitty hand. We also got a, a smaller pocket pair for CPU ruler who's going to go for the jam with fives. I didn't even see. Got Proto with the jack five in the big blind. Tremendo to round us out with 50 big blinds. Very stacked final table as always. In the 25k scoop 2024. CP ruler gets one through there with the suited ace. What do we got going on here now? Queen 10 for Sluan. We'll see if they open this up. Nope. Going to pass on it. Nacho with an ace from the button. We'll just rip it in. Queen Jack in the big blind. Tremendo would have to pay off another 10 big blinds. Won't pay that this time. Nacho just scoops the big, er, the big and small blind, the antes. Hanging in there with about 14 blinds now. Pwn Diddy in the big blind with 4 and a 6. Has so many chips. We'll see if he plays it. Nope. Pretty boring start to the final table here. As I try to get zoned in. Raffle shove with queen 7. We got 100 blinds. Are we really going to play this? Nope. Nacho with queen jack. Raising it up. Goes for the min raise. Pwn Diddy with the suited ace in the small blind. Goes deep in the tank. Finds the fold. JVB with a jack and a deuce of the offsuit will fold as well. Boo -ba -da -doo -da -doo -ba -da -doo. Lots of folding going on so far. Pwn Diddy with an ace on the button. This will be an open. Amadi with king nine in the big blind. I think we're going to see a flop. Unless a three bet comes in. Nope. King Queen 3, 2 diamonds, Pwn Diddy with 1, and the over card as well. Might put in a small bet here. 1.4 big blinds. Top pair for Amadi quickly calls, turns 3 of a kind. Board is completely locked up here for Amadi, it's just a matter of how can I get chips out of you. Jack on the river. Turn goes check, check. Amadi might go for the lead here. He does. Two big blinds. Trying to get a jack, a queen, hopefully an ace high, but unlikely. Maybe a small pocket pair to flick in a call. The ace nine hits the muck. Little pot going Amadi's way. 47 blinds. Just behind Tremendo. Slight advantage over Pwn Diddy with taking that one down. Tremendo going to bump up King 10. 2.5x is the size. Always interesting to see what pre-flop size we go with. And everybody flops something here. Ace, king, six. Bottom set for Raffle Shove with the best of it. Amadi has the backdoor clubs. Oh no. King on the turn. Tremendo turns three of a kind. That's a boat for Raffle Shove. Still top pair for Amadi. boop -di do So Tremendo obviously needs to make a boat or four of a kind on the river. He ain't going nowhere. Ooh, just a complete brick. I don't know if Tremendo jams for value on the river, though. If he faces another bet from Raffle Shove. 21 blinds. Yeah, over bet. I don't think we jam this one. Hard to fold three of a kind. In the end, Tremendo finds the call, of course. Blinds go up. Tremendo's down to 17 now. Oh no, Raffle Shove preserving the 100 big blind stack. 112 blinds now. Sheesh, and everybody shows short. Amadi under 40 now. CPU ruler will defend the ace 9 0 from the early position raise from Nacho off the super short stack. Flop and top pair, that's pretty good news. One big blind bet, that's good news too. Oh, and we'll just turn two pairs. No problem, PokerStars. 
losing to Sets and the Ace Jack, of course. Two big blinds is the bet. CP ruler goes in the tank. No flush draw out there, just some straight draws. King Queen doesn't bang it off on the river. Looking for a 10. Hopefully Nacho just checks it back and gives up. Preserve those eight blinds and move along. CP ruler takes that one down up to about 24 blinds now. That kind of just gives him the opportunity to wait around for a good hand. Hopefully some of these shorties bust can make some dollars. VBB, VBV with a 10 and a 10 and a, a decision. Plays call. Pwn Diddy going to look for some hearts, but we got some hearts dead in the big blind. Sloan does come along with king 8. Queen, queen 3 is the flop. Pwn Diddy looking for some backdoor straight draws. Or the old ace on the turn. We'll see if VBV gives them a free turn. Not this time. 1.7 blinds is the bet. And everybody folds. As nobody had a really strong draw or anything. Or made hand. You know what I mean. Ace high, king high fold. Pocket pair takes it down. Nacho in a weird spot. Seven blinds behind, one in the middle, has to call 1.5. With the queen jack, does find the call. 5 4 3 flop. Surely, if he had a piece of this, you would just open rip it. Tremendo takes the spot with ace jack. Sticks in the remainder of Nacho's chips and he takes down the pot. Do, ba, do, do, CPU roller. Okay, 24 blinds. We just rip it right in. Proto calls with the ace queen, but there's a nine on the flop. Just like that, we lose Proto. Hung around, waited for a good spot with the ace queen. Just unfortunate run out for you. CPU ruler, though, up to 37 blinds. I thought he was going to wait around patiently, but he found a spot where he could put some pressure on the shorties. Just open rips. He was only playing like some 17 big blinds effective. Gets a call from the big and uh, bangs off a pair and that holds. Good news for CPU ruler. Second place position for them. Oh, actually tied with Amadi. Anyways, we got King High going to war with King High. Nobody with a pair. Just some backdoor draws. Ace on the turn. Mm -mm -mm. The nine still plays for the time being. VBV. Oh, and the nine plays. Spades complete. Nobody has a spade. Don't think there's going to be any bluffing going on here. Check, check, and king nine is good for the pot. Mm -hmm -hmm. Queen ten o oh for awful shove. Looks like a play for them under the gun. Nobody wants to come along to the flop. Nacho with 9-9. Nine, nine, jams it in with their four blinds. And it will get through. Pretty well getting a double up. Just a little bit less. Just by taking down the blinds and antes. It's good news for Nacho. Mm -hmm -hmm. Raffle shove with ace 10. He is just going to raffle shove it in. 36 bigs, he doesn't give a shit. CPU ruler is not going to be calling it off there. Amadi with a jack and a 10. We haven't heard too much from Amadi, and they're going to pass on the jack 10. Raffle shove. Plays min raise this time from the button. I thought we might just see an all in again, but nope. Raffle shove looking to take that suited hand post flop. VBV gets one through with the ace and the nine. And Raffleshove gets an ace and the six of the same suit. He's going to go for the min raise. Do -ba -do -do. CPU ruler goes in the tank, but they'll let go of 10 8, of course. Nacho with ace seven and a decision. Goes all in. 43% here. Oh my lord. Flush and straight draws. They both brick out. Nacho did have a seven blocker. Holy crap, but look at that flop there. Again, flush straight blockers. Any pair would have done. 12 blinds now for Nacho. We'll see if he takes another spot with King Jack here. Goes for the min raise. 
It's a three bet to three big blinds. <laughs> How often do you see this on a 25k? Oh, this is so funny. Raffle shove into pickle with queen six. He could just call and go to the flop. Flop and another flush draw. Does he just check jam it? Oh my lord, what do we do in nacho shoes? We bet 1.27 blinds. God, what do we do with queen six? Oh, we go for the check raise. <laughs> for half of nacho's chips. Oh, and then Nacho has to let go of the King Jack. Oh, what an unfortunate happening there. Very cool to see that min 3 bet, though. Wow. Ace 10 for Raffle Shove. Thinking things through. Amadi's been quiet. They get the King 9 suited under the gun. They try to go for the min raise. Raffle Shove just immediately with Ace 10 0 says, I'm going to put the pressure on you. Three's getting fours to fold. That's good news for Raffle Shove. Amadi with a defending hand, but he's been preserving chips. This time he's going to call him flop bottom two. Raffle Shove in position. Might just unload the clip here. We'll see how many streets he takes it. He starts things off the flop with a big bet. It's super wet. Amadi calls king on the turn. Jack 10 gets there. King Queen gets there. King Nine gets there. King Nine might not bet like that on the flop. Do but it do Nines is still a set. Oh boy, and Amadi's just getting put in a pickle. The threes, or at least unloading two clips here. Nine point six blinds into twelve point eight. All in from Amadi. He's not too afraid. Goes for the value jam. The bet gets through, of course. Forty eight blinds now for Amadi. That's a huge pot going their way. 9-10 suited for Nacho. Goes for the raise from middle position. I think this one might get through. VBV with the ace 7 0. Gonna let that go. Nacho up to 10 blinds now. Wow, what a great game by Nacho. The King Jack 3 bet didn't work out, but it was probably the funnest hand we've seen so far. CPU ruler in the big blind. Surely we're going to defend King-10 offsuit. <clears throat> he goes for the 3-bet. Pwn Diddy's going to get put in a weird spot with Ace-9. He's got the best of it right now. We can't know that, though. He's going to let it go. Do ba -do -do. King-Jack suited for Nacho. Goes for the min-raise. And another one gets through for him. 12.5 blinds. In the big blind with pocket sixes. Surely somebody's going to open up into his big blind. VBV with 9-10 suited. We'll let it go. Raffle shove with an ace won't. This could be another big pot for Nacho's life. 10 more blinds to call. Raffle shove with 95 if he uh, calls and he's wrong. You don't want to double up Nacho, but the 8 on the flop, the ace on the turn, that will do. We do lose Nacho, unfortunately. Raffle shove calls it off there for 10 blinds. Pretty big pot going his way. Was 20 blinds or so, a little bit more. So in the grand scheme of things, I'll do some quick math. We got 50 with Amadi, 80, 104, 120, 130, 166 left for Raffle shove to collect. So he got 20 some there. I guess it was just 12 more from Nacho's stack. It was about a 24 big blind pot. Raffle Shove still got a long way to go, I guess. We still got too many players with a few too many chips to already conclude this to be Raffle Shove's tournament. Wow, that's fun to see. Amadi's a good uh, potential uh, player to make the big comeback. With 46 blinds, we've already seen him. Allow for Raffle Shove to use that big stack with the pocket threes to try to put some pressure on Amadi. Amadi capitalized on it with two pairs. Do ba do do. We could see some more spots with Amadi and then the, the smaller stacks. As we see this check down pot, I don't think Amadi would let anybody check down. Maybe with the ace jack and he's got showdown value, maybe he would. But it just doesn't seem like it. Amadi's nice and aggressive. 
pushing t uh, thin equity. It's very fun to see. Gonna limp in the jack eight here. Flop the straight draw to the seven or queen. Either pair, jack or eight would do as well. King on the turn. That's a good card for Raffle Shove, although spade's complete. Amadi doesn't have one, so it doesn't matter. Raffle Shove bets a big blind. Amadi's gonna come along to the river. Three of hearts. Straight draw misses. Amadi checks. He's still ahead of some straight draws, which is really funny. Still ahead of some one spade hands. Big bet from Raffle Shove. We could see a jack high call here. Although you don't really want to have the eight. Because then you're blocking some of, this, uh, some of those draws that you're expecting to be ahead of. So in the end, Amadi folds the jack eight. I thought we were going to see some crazy hero call. Sometimes you just want to see something. CPU ruler goes for the re-raise with the ace jack and the jack three for Rafa Shove. I'll find the fold after limping in. Haven't seen that situation too, too much yet. Sloan going to defend the 6-7-0. Queen seven for Rafa Shove. Flops the back door, straight draw and flush draw, bets a big blind and takes down the pot. Do betty do. Jack seven suited, raffle shovel bump up, Sluan with pocket sixes. Not the best hand here. I wonder if he's got fold equity. We're gonna find out. Nine big blinds in total. Seven more to call into what would be twenty blinds in the pot. We do see equities are super close here. Pretty well a flip. The jack seven finds the fold though. So Sluan does have some fold equity. That's good news off the short stack. Tremendo with the ace and the king facing a, ra uh, a raise from Rafflesheff's king jack. This one is 12 more to call. King jack feels like an easier fold. Sluan going for the min raise with ace king. We got jacks in the small blind. One jack is dead in case that matters. Ace king will call. Ace on the flop. So there's one out. And it would have been the spade which would have completed the flush. So just like that, Pwn Diddy's dead on the turn. Do ba it do Sluan did a good job of hanging on out. I think the raise with the sixes got through because Sluan was nice and patient. They found a spot after a couple knockouts. Raffle shove said I'm gonna go into chip preservation mode. The jack seven suited isn't like some sort of call or some hand you expect to call. It's just at some point he might call because he feels like he's priced in. Seven more blinds was a little bit too many to call off. Doop it doop. I, and I suppose he thought that because uh Sluan had been nice and tight. He expected the range to be a lot stronger. So just like that, he finds the fold. We got three threes making a full house on the river here. Amadi just the queen high. Three looks like a complete brick. Amadi's in the tank. We'll let it go. Ah, it seems like Amadi's eventually going to make one of those hero calls. They're probably just going to wait for a spot when they're going to be right. They've made two good folds so far. One time Raffle Shove with the top pair. This time BBV with the boat. But both spots could have been a jack high call or queen high call. We're going to see it in the 25k. Ooh, look at this. 9-9 nine, nine, making three of a kind on the turn. CPU ruler with nothing. Completely dead here. Still ahead of the flush draws and straight draws though. Plays call. Ace on the river. That's bad news. The flush draw gets there. Raffle shove with three of a kind. Gonna go for a healthy value bet. Full pot and CPU ruler is gonna be in a tough, tough spot. How do you fold ace queen after the flush gets there? The four or five straight gets there as well. So CPU ruler says, you know what, actually? Maybe that's just the worst card in the deck and I can fold. Do buddy do 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 buddy do. Raffle shove now up to 108 blinds. 109, sorry. Goes for the 3x with 8-4. No limping in this time. CPU ruler. 
Looks like they're going to face the heat. As Tremendo's got some more chips. Luan's got some more chips. See you, Sloan, sorry, takes the ace nine for 22 blinds and just rips it on in. Rafa shove going to be opening quite wide there, ace nine. Seems like a value bet even, although you kind of do hope just to get it through. Queen, queen goes for the non-all-in three bet. Nine, ten won't go to the flop. No action for the queens. Sloan is up to 30 bigs, passes CPU ruler. Amadi with King Jack suited, 34 blinds. The slight second place lead. Queen Jack suited for Tremendo goes in the tank. He might be jamming this one. Oh no, he passes on it. Probably would have got it through. Oh, and Amadi takes a7 suited. He is not. Whoa, what's happened here? Why is Amadi playing super aggressive? Is it because the other two have sort of caught up now? Sloan with 30, CPU ruler with 30. Amadi says, I need to get that second place position established. Get me back to 40 blinds as quick as I can. Mm -hmm. Ace 10 for CPU ruler. Pwn Diddy folds the ace 8. Raffle shove calls 9 10. He flops top pair again. Just an unfortunate run of cards for CPU ruler. They're not really hitting. Their opponent sure is making their hand though. 8 on the turn after the flop goes check check we see the 3.5 big blind lead ace 10 not necessarily the best call here you do dominate jack 10 but you're gonna be playing a guessing game on the river as they could have like a 6-7 <coughs> who knows what else they could have surely there's some more queen jack queen 10 and you got ace 10 Weird spot. CPU ruler just folds on the turn. Pwn Diddy with Jack and a King. Gonna rip this in for five blinds. CPU ruler might double him up, but do you really want to call five from the small? No. This is gonna be a fold, I think. Oh, he does just call from the small. Gonna need a queen? Nope, that's a full double for Pwn Diddy. Twelve and a half blinds now. CPU ruler down to 19. And that was a big swing there. As Samadhi almost established second place a little bit more comfortably just by CPU ruler losing chips. Sloan in third with 30 blinds. Going to limp in the 8-3 of spades. Jack 5 misses the flop. Sloan bets and takes it down. Weird spot here. Raffle shove with King Jack. Going to go for the open. Ace 10 suited. Do we find the call? Do we raise? What do we do, Sloan? Fold. Oh, of all things, that's that's not what I was expecting. Queen, queen for Amadi. Under the gun, raise. Tremendo with pocket eights. 13 blinds rips it in. That's bad news for him. He's going to need that an eight. A queen on the flop pretty well deads him. Didn't even have the backdoor spade, or diamond, sorry. Amadi with the higher diamond had that shit locked up on the flop. Mm -hmm -hmm. Bone Diddy with a king and a ten. All in from the button. And Amadi folds the big with king four. VBV with an ace on the button. Going to go for the raise. Raffle shove is suited and connected. Going to go for the call and flop a little straight draw to the jack or six. We see a jack on the turn after the flop goes check check. There's a few better straight draws that Raffle shove loses to, but... They're going to bet the full pot. They don't give a shit, really. Got a straight draw for VBV, but they're going to have to let it go. Mm -mm -mm. No action for Jax for Sluan. That's no fun. Amadi's got a suited king in the cutoff. And he lets it go. Sluan gets a walk. Another suited king for Amadi. He's not going to let this one go. This will get through pre-flop. Amadi takes that down. 9-5 suited for Sluan facing the two shorties. He is just going to uh, pass on the hand. Pwn Diddy can rip it in with their A7. All in dealer for 11 blinds and they get it through. 9 and an 8 for Ruffle Shove. He's going to face an all in I think from the pocket 8. 17 blinds. Oh a non-all in 3 bet. 
Makes it eight big blinds, just in case the Mahdi wakes up with a big hand. Goes all in over the top, or puts in the cold four. Do buddy do CPU ruler Ace King O. Raising it up, all in from sixes. Oh, fair flop. No straight for either player. No Ace or King for CPU ruler. Just like that, Rafflesov is winning all the all ins. That's good news for him. He's up to 127 blinds. Hmm. Another pocket pair of sixes, another all in for Rafflesov. Don't know why that took me off guard. Just seems like what they're going to do. 131, 132 blinds for Rafflesov. Amadi with 50, raising the jack nine suited. King, 6 4 flop. Pwn Diddy with a little straight draw to the 5 in the backdoor diamond draw, which is dominated by Amadi. One big blind bet on the flop. Pwn Diddy might call here. Oh, I like the check raise even more. How does Amadi continue with Jack-9? He finds the call but a 3 on the turn. What the hell happens here now? Pwn Diddy checks it on over with some showdown value. Seven blinds behind. Is this a spot Amadi finds that he can find uh he can manage to get a fold from Pwn Diddy with the best hand? We're gonna find out real soon. Oh a nine on the river, so it doesn't matter. Amadi just makes the best hand. Might even check back the river because now that he wins, doesn't need to bluff. Pair of nines is good for the pot often enough. Some flushes get there. Straights get there on that turn. That's a nice one going to Mahdi's way who's up to 60 blinds. Very unfortunate for Pwn Diddy. I thought the check raise on the flop was going to get through, but nope. Amadi had the backdoor equity, backdoor straights, backdoor flush. Said I'm going to come along. Ends up making the pair of nines. And that's good. Amadi raising the fours from the button. 10-8-6 flop. Raffle shove with a straight draw to the nine. Out of, posi out of position. Not going to be easy to play. Flop goes check check though. <clears throat> Raffle shove can lead on out. Very large too. And this will get the pocket fours to fold. Nicely done by Rafflesov. Boop, but it do. Sluan with a queen. He's going to stick this one in. All in from the 6 8. We're going to need to see a 6 or 8 or 7. 7 on the turn locks up the board. Pwn Diddy gets a full double. Pretty well, 8 blinds for him now. Don't think we take the spot with ace 8, but he might. He does take it. 3 bets pretty well all in. Rafflesov. Lays down the 10-7. Nice one for Pwn Diddy to get through. 12 big blinds just behind VBV. Uh-oh, and a VBV jams here. Nice. Just finds the fold. We got Ace-8 waiting in the big blind. I suppose the limp is more likely than a jam. I just got terrified. I saw the dominating hand waiting for him. It's like, no, VBV, don't do it. Uh-oh. Pwn Diddy with 9-9. He just lays it down. Sluan with the ace-queen. Might get this through pre-flop. Nope. King-5 defends the big. Raffle shove with just way too many chips hanging on out there. Has the back door straight and flush draw. Michael for the check raise here. He can't really do the calling. There's the check raise. Sluan. Back door straight. Back door flush. Two over cards. Calls. Nine of clubs on the turn. Interesting card. 16 blinds in the middle, and Raffle Shove will check it on over. <clears throat> Sluan goes deep in the tank. Oh no, he checks back the turn, and a king of spades on the river. Oh no, Raffle Shove's run is going pretty well here. He's going to bet about 11 big blinds. Sluan still ahead of some flush draws, still ahead of some straight draws, but the king is a horrific card. Oh, we might get rewarded here. Raffle shove might just raffle shove the deuces that they do. Queen snap call any deuces dealer? Nope. Good news for Sluan. Nice fold with the ace queen. Gets a uh, full double the very next hand. 
Doopity doo, do doopity doo. Nine nine for Amadi. Goes for the min raise, takes it down pre. <clears throat> 10-8 suited, rips right into jacks. 10 on the flop, we're going to need to see some 10s. 5 on the turn, pretty well deads him. VBV out in 5th place in the 25k. Very fun showing from them. Same with Pwn Diddy off the short stack, going for the min raise. Who else was it? Nacho? Oh, it was a great game so far. <clears throat> Rafa shove calls from the small. A7-0. Queen 9 5 flop. Pwn Diddy with a backdoor flush draw and the straight draw to the 10. Oh, pink. Raffle shove doesn't have any equity really here. Yeah, a locked up board. And I mean, he doesn't even have any straight draw against the uh, any other hand. A one pair hand, a two pair hand. He's got no draw. He bets a big blind. 1.65. The pot's super small. 8.8 .8 and 6 behind. Ace on the river. Raffle shove might just raffle shove it in here for value. Hopefully he checks. Bet's one big blind. Okay, he can get called by worse here. Pwn Diddy obviously going to go for some value. <laughs> All in dealer. Snap call from the ace. <clears throat> Full double for Pwn Diddy. It's a huge pot going there. Way 20 blinds now. One double up away from being ahead of Sluan. Wow, this little battle could go on for a little while if Pwn Diddy manages to, manages to find a double up. And even off 20 blinds, he's going to have some playability as he's shown off of 8 and 10 big blinds. Dupe, it, it, do all this 6-7 for Amadi rips facing the 3x. And the king high for Pwn Diddy has to fold. Jack, Jack for Amadi. Ace 9 for Sloan goes 2.5x. Facing the 3 bet. Four handed Ace 9 is much stronger. Sloan still just lays it down. Blinds go up. Pwn Diddy with a king and a jack. 14 blinds. Goes for the min raise. Sloan in the big blind with Ace Queen. Probably going to go all in. Or 3 bet of some sort. All in is the bet, and Pwn Diddy quickly folds. <coughs> Amadi lays down the ace seven, and good timing as Pwn Diddy has an ace in the big blind. He's gonna get a full double, no king or five. Seven don't matter, no straight gets there. Sloan takes the king high, rips it on in for about ten blinds, makes sense. Just unfortunate, Pwn Diddy gets a double. Sloan jamming the ace jack over the ace nine open. Gets through preflop. Do betty do. Lots of action happening here now that we're four handed. Oh no, ace three for Amadi. Ace three for Raffleshove. Kings in the big. One ace three hits the muck. Kings go for a non all in three bet, seven blinds total. Five more for Amadi to call. All in from the ace three. Queen, queen, five flop. Any twos? Nope. The kings holds. The Wan gets a full double there. 50 blinds. And ahead of Amadi. Finds himself in second place. And a double up through Raffle Shove will put him in first place. Wowie, we walk. Just trading. Play. Oh my gosh, what's going to happen here? We got 10 10 for Sluan. Ace Jack for Raffle Shove. Okay, a raise and a call. Amadi comes along with the king deuce as well. 10 8 6 flop. So I thought there was going to be some three bets pre flop, but not this time. No bets on the flop either. Three on the turn. No spades for Amadi. He's just looking for a king. Obviously, Raffleshove needs an ace or jack. Sluan probably going to put in a bet on the turn after getting checked to twice. 2.8 is the bet, and everybody else folds. Raffle shove with the six and an eight. We'll see what he does from the small here using the limping size. Sluan checks back 310. Flops okay. King Queen Jack. Sluan with a spade with the straight draw. And the 10 high is good for the time being. 
five on the turn. Ruffle shuffle check over the eight high. Check check on the turn three on the river. One big blind bet from Ruffle Shove. Sluan goes in the tank. Finds the call. Nicely done. Gets an extra big blind out of Raffle Shove there. 9 5 suited on the button will raise Sluan with King Queen O from the small. Plays call. Flops top pair. Bottom pair for Raffle Shove with the flush draw. Backdoor straight, to, straight draw to go along with it. Check, check on the flop. Seven to diamonds on the turn. Excuse me. Top pair with the second best kicker leads out quite large. We get a king of spades on the river. Dirty card for Sluan. Top two going to go for a healthy value bet. Probably close to pot. 75% or so. Raffle shove with the flush makes it a huge, huge 28 and a half big blinds to go. 20 more to call or so. Sluan finds the fold with the top two as flushes get there, straights get there. <clears throat> do betty do. So that's a dang large pock on Raffle shove's way. They're back at 108 blinds. Gonna need an ace in this pot here. A big bet wouldn't get Amadi to fold. Amadi going for some value here. We'll see if Raffle Shove calls him down with the ace high with the eight kicker. Pretty irre irrelevant card to have in your hand. Raffle Shove will just lay down the ace X. Do bitty do. Amadi limping in 10 7. Raffle shove checks back jack 8 and he flops a pair of jacks. Got a straight draw to the queen for Amadi. An 8 would also do. We get the 5 of spades, putting 3 of them out there. Nobody with a spade. Amadi bets 1.5 into 2.5. Raffle shove after checking back the flop finds the call, makes 3 of a kind on the river. Amadi still blocks queen 10. Doesn't have a spade again. Could still find the bluff here with 10 high. Very small bet. Raffle shove. Might even raise this. Do betty do da da betty dum. 6.82 blinds is the bet. And Amadi will eventually lay down their bluff. Or go the, for the 3 bet on the river. He's in the tank. Would have been funny to see. Do buddy do. Amadi laying down 10 8. Raffle shove with 3 4. Probably going to limp this in. Sloan would do 7. Let's see if he goes for the raise. Try to buy it pre flop. Not this time. King 9 5 flop. Raffle shove checks. Sloan checks. 6 on the turn. Both players picking up straight outs. Sluan will lay down the better hand for the uh, even though it's seven deuce. How can you know that's the best hand? Do but it do Raffle shove with the six and the ten pwn diddy with ace jack. Of the same suit. This is a raise. Might not go all in. Makes it six blinds. Raffle shove, thinking about it. Folds. Nothing too exciting there. 9 8 suited. Raffle shove will raise it on up. And a call from Sluan's King Queen. Ace Queen in the big blind for Amadi. Thinking about a 3 bet pre. All in is the size. 40 big blinds. Holy crap. That will get through, of course. Amadi gonna limp in 10 7. Ace 4 suited for Raffle Shove in the big blind. Goes for the raise, and this will get through pre flop. Bum, buddy, bum. Deuce and a deuce. Are we limping? Raffle Shove limps it in. 
Luan checks back the 6-5. We've seen a lot of these limp pots check back. We'll check on the flop. We'll go to the turn. Maybe one of us will bet. Maybe we just take it to the river and make our hand. Sloan with a straight here, although it's a one-liner to a 10. Sloan still goes for value. Raffle shove folds to the deuces. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Jack-7 suited going for the open. And Sloan lets go of ace-10, and we move along. 9-10 hits the muck. Pwn Diddy in the small with a king. Last time went 3x. Goes 3x again. Amadi calls with jack 7. He flops a straight draw to the 9 and the heart draw. No pair for Pwn Diddy, but the king high is still the best hand. Amadi check 2. Bets 3.5 blinds and the king high does find the fold. Do ba -de do do da ba -de do do da ba -de do do King 10 for Sloan, raising it up. Ruffle shove goes for the 3 bet with King 8, and the King 10 has to fold now. That's bad news for Sloan. Do ba -de do 8's for Amadi. Ruffle shove with a couple ducks. Plays call from the small. Sloan with A6 in the big. I think we got a 3 way flop. 10 8 7, or sorry. Nope, no eight. Ten seven three. There we go. One club for Sluan. The eights are still good. Wow, where did he get the eight from? I mean, the three kind of looks like an eight. You know, if you just connect the loops. If you just go loop, did he eight three, and you just gotta connect the loops. It's another way to draw an eight. If you didn't know. <coughs> Top pair for Raffle Shove. Bet's real small and he gets it on through. Pwn Diddy with a 9 and an 8. Hey there. Raising all in. Amadi with a King 7. The raise is just a bit too much for him to call it off. A7 for Amadi in the small blind. Gonna do a limp. Raffle shove checks it back. Jack eight two flop. Hmm? Oh okay. That's a shame. You stuck with me. Ah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. You need to come look. What's going on? It's Amadi and Pwn Diddy. That kind of rhymes, right? Mm. <laughs> Amadi, Pwn Diddy. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I guess you're writing a song with it, so I wouldn't say it's a direct rhyme, but. No? No. Uh, Pwn Diddy's got kings, though. <laughs> Look at this, and Sloan's got an ace and a jack. Raffle shove with an ace and a nine. A Marty with a king and a queen. Wow. We get a three bet from Sloan to eight big blinds. Pwn Diddy going to go all in quite happily. Twelve more to call. Fourteen more to call into what would be, holy shit, like 50 big blinds. Sloan's pretty well priced in. One ace is already dead. He finds the fold. It's a huge pot going Pwn Diddy's way. Pwn Diddy. Pwn Diddy. Ruffle shove with a pair of sevens. The backdoor flush draw bets 1.25 big blinds and the pot slides his way. Do ba -de do. Amadi going for the limp. Ruffle shove checks it back again. Ace, ace, deuce, flop. The pair of fours bets a big blind and eight high folds. We move along with our newfound situation with Pwn Diddy with 34 blinds now. Sloan in last place with 24. Still plenty of wiggle room. 
has a good spot here to pick up some chips. Oh no, but there's a deuce on the flop. Rafflesheff has dominated. Sloan's in position. Has the straight draw to the queen and the backdoor heart draw. Ten of hearts on the turn. Interesting card. Pairs the board. Rafflesheff can think his deuce is potentially good here. Although hearts get there. There's still ace x, 10x that b2. Mm -hmm. We'll see what Rafflesheff thinks about the small bet on the turn here. He plays call king on the river. That does give Sluan the best hand. But we're chopping it up. Sorry, my bad with the with the ace kicker. Fuck. I thought Sluan was taking it down with the jack kicker. So it doesn't give Sluan the best hand. My bad. Kings and tens with the ace kicker. Oh no, when Sluan sticks it all in with threes, a queen on the flop, an ace on the turn, and no help for Sluan. 51 big blinds. Uh, the 51 big blind pot slides Rafflesheff's way. He's got 131 with, what, like 70, maybe 80 big blinds left to collect. Three-handed, here we go. Pocket eights for Rafflesheff. 3.5x to start things off from the small. Pwn Diddy with a king in the big blind. Plays call, flops bottom pair. Raffle shove with the over pair and the straight draw to the five. Starts things off with a check. Do better do. Pwn Diddy goes in the tank. Checks it back a four on the turn. That's good news for Pwn Diddy. They're even going to get a better two out of Raffle shove here. Rafflesheff starts things off with a lead on the turn. 3.7 blinds to go. A call and we get a 3 on the river. So there's a 1-liner to a 5. Not the best river for your 4s. Still might get some value here. A half pot size bet. Does Pwn Diddy jam? I don't think so. They're just going to land on the call. And scoop a nice pot. Blinds go up. Pwn Diddy is in second place just slightly. Ace 8, limping in. Oh no, Amadi flops bottom pair. The domination is no longer in play. Doopity do. Queen, queen, 7 flop. Goes check, check, deuce on the turn. Pwn Diddy looking for an ace. Mm 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 mm. Ba 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 da do. Amadi betting 1.7 blinds. Wait, did I say 1.7? It was 1.5. Amadi gets a call from the ace high. Four on the river doesn't change anything. Diamonds miss. Amadi bets 3.7 blinds. And Pwn Diddy goes in the tank. The eight of diamonds isn't the best card to have here. The eight of diamonds? Oh, no, he still finds a call in the end, and that's 12.7 blinds. Sliding over Amadi's way. 43 and a half in total now. Gonna go for a limp. 9 3 raising for Rafflesheff. And Amadi folds to 10 7. Jack 6 for Amadi. Goes in the tank for a second, but he will fold. King Jack will limp it in. Pwn Diddy with 8 and a 5. Checks it back. 9-4 deuce flop. Rafflesheff checks. Pwn Diddy thinking about it. And he does put in the big blind bet. Quick call from the king high. Picking up a straight draw on the turn here. Pwn Diddy with a 5 of diamonds. Might continue to barrel. Didn't really pick up any equity though. Oh, he just makes a pair of 8s on the river. That will be good for the five blinds in the middle, providing he doesn't fold. Rafflesheff does just check it on over. Blocking the jack-10 straight. The nuts. Uh-oh, Pwn Diddy does put out a little value bet here. Rafflesheff could check raise. Just finds to fold with the king high. Woo! Sometimes those little value bets get punished. Not this time, though. 
do but it do raffle shove with a 10 and a 5 going for the race on the button getting it through pre-flop pwn diddy raising ace 10 from the button amadi folding jack 4 taking some time to lay down his hands the queen 5 hits the muck you know what, they're on a 25k final table, three-handed, pretty intense situation to be in. The next ladder's for right around $90,000, that's a fuck ton. Everybody should be playing pretty slow when you think about it. The fact that the, some of these players can play quick is, is pretty damn impressive. boop a dee doo pwn diddy call in with a 9-10, backdoor flush draw. No backdoor straight draw, but the 10 high could be good. It's not this time. Jack 3 betting 7.3 blinds into 11. Pwn Diddy picking up the flush draw, but he might be getting priced out of the pot now. Finds a call. Jack 3 is good. Got a king of diamonds on the river. Stack the pot ratio right around 1 to 1. Does Raffle shove jam? No. Does Pwn Diddy? Do we really want to jam with 10 high here? We don't want to show it down necessarily. We got to put out some sort of bet. 12 big blinds is the bet. Pwn Diddy does buy the pot and that's a huge one sliding their way. What a play by Pwn Diddy in position coming along with the 9-10 on the ace-ace 3 flop with the backdoor heart draw picks up the 8 of hearts on the turn. Wowie wee wah. Pwn Diddy limps in the 8-9. Amadi raising king 7. Pwn Diddy calls 10 10 3 flop. Do ba -da do do da ba -da do Checks over to Amadi in position with the king 7. He's going to bet about half pot and take it down. That's a nice one sliding his way with king 7. Ace 5 for Pwn Diddy. Raising from the button. Raffle shove with a playable 9 8 0. Flop in middle pair. No hearts for Pwn Diddy. What a shame. Mm -mm -mm. The ace five checks back the flop eight on the turn, giving Raffle Shove two pairs, locking up the board. Pwn Diddy with no real equity. No draw at all. Has a very poor ace high. Just going to let it go. Mm-mm-mm. A jack for raffle shove, limping in. Pwn Diddy with a deuce and a seven, checks it back. Flopping bottom pair. Raffle shove, backdoor straight draw, backdoor flush draw. Two overcards to the two. Checks it on over. And he bangs off an eight on the turn. Betting full pot. Pwn Diddy after checking back the flop. Doesn't give a shit and he's just going to fold the bottom pair. Wowie, we will. <clears throat> Amadi with the ace and the queen likes the three bet makes it eight big blinds this will get through pre-flop mm, ace king waiting in the big blind pwn diddy raising the queen six suited ruffle shift's gonna have to give him a price that he can call otherwise the queen six will hit the muck eight blinds is too many it's the standard size that these players are using. It's just Pwn Diddy had a real shit hand. He needed a better price. Beep bitty do. Jack 4 limping in. Jack 10 in the big blind. Could raise, could just check it back. King 6 4 flop. Beep bitty do, 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 bitty do. Check, check on the flop. Three on the turn. Some straights get there. There's a heart draw. Pwn Diddy with Jack 10. Has no real reason to bluff, but we'll see if he takes the spot. Nope. Nine on the river. One big blind bet by Ruffle Shove. We'll get through. Little pot slides his way. Nines for Amadi getting a walk. Three, four limping in. 310 could raise, but it will check back. 743, or sorry, what? <laughs> King 74 flop. One club for Amadi. 
two spades for Raffle Shove. Ooh, another club there for Amadi. Picking up a straight draw to the six as well with their bottom pair. Raffle Shove has that same straight draw. Bets over the pot. 6.5 into 4.5. And Amadi calls and he bangs off the flush on the river. 17 and a half blinds in the middle. If Amadi leads, Raffle Shove can easily fold. If checked to, he's going to have to bluff to try to buy this pot or just check and lose 100% of the time. He bets full pot and Amadi's not going nowhere. Might even go for some value here. Again, Raffle Shove isn't going to call. But Amadi's just thinking, do I go for value? Do I just call? He says, I'm just going to call and see the good news. 73 blinds for Amadi. First place position after waiting out so patiently. Raffle Shove just took the spot. And as I was saying earlier, Amadi was just going to let him. Amadi played nice and patiently. Finally rewarded. Flopping middle pair here with the backdoor flush draw. Everybody's got a backdoor flush draw. Backdoor straight draws for Raffle Shove and Pwn Diddy. What an interesting hand. Flop checks around five on the turn, so pretty well all of it goes out the window. Amadi picking up a flush draw, but that don't matter. He also has a pair. He isn't even betting. Doop it do. Raffle Shove checks back the jack ten. And the 8-9 holds up. Not too often do you see a three-handed hand. Three-handed. Wait, not often do you see a three-handed hand. Three-handed. Is that really the sentence you're supposed to say? Somebody let me know. Because that sounds wrong, but then I said it for a second time, and I was like, well, no, I think that's actually the the correct terminology, but I could just be fucking wrong. Anyways, 9-9 nine, nine raising the button. King Jack 5 flop. Three in a row for Raffle Shove with the backdoor diamonds, but those are dominated. Flop goes check, check, queen on the turn. No reason for 7-6 to be betting. Unless you just want to buy the pot. Pwn Diddy, it's hard to get value here with 9-9. Nine, nine. So he checks it back as well. Six on the turn. And, or sorry, six on the river. Raffle Shove leads out with that pair of sixes. Pwn Diddy snaps it off. Doopity do, do doopity do. Jack nine for Pwn Diddy. Plays limp. Amadi checks the 8-7. We get an ace-queen-queen flop. Pwn Diddy has the backdoor straight flush draw. Checks it over. 8-7 checks. We get a queen on the turn. So we got some chop outs to the ace. A king also works. A queen also works. Mm-hmm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> Ace will chop it on up, providing nobody folds. To be fair, if Pwn Diddy overbet 7.5 big blinds, is Amadi going to call here to win 1.2? <laughs> um, you're never calling and somehow showing him the nuts. Do you ever re-raise? Not likely. Obviously with a queen, but it's just not going to happen often. <clears throat> what an interesting little hand there. A7 for Raffle Shove in the small blind. Gonna limp it on in. Two, three goes for the re-raise. Or the raise, I should say. Queen 10 8 flop. Ruffle shove with the e7. <clears throat> it's so weird when you talk about poker hands because, like, you're trying to get the terminology down right. And then I've also, like, heard people talk about poker terminology, and it seems like each school of thought has their own. 
their own way they would talk about poker hands. So it's like we've each school of thought has their own little uh, dictionary, and they expect that everybody else just will uh, come to the same conclusions as that they have. But it's like, no, you're one school, and there's all those other schools, and but then it makes somebody like myself think, like, oh shit. Am I saying the right terminology here? It's like, well, which school of thought are you going to listen to to make that determination? It's like, well, I'm using my own damn vocabulary, and it's poor. It's very poor. But we're all just trying. We're all just trying to talk about uh, talk about something we like. We don't love it. We just like it. We like seeing numbers go up and down. Burr, 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 burr. Poem Diddy flop and top pair and the flush draw here. King Queen with the backdoor straight draw. But then I'm thinking to myself, like, when it comes to poker terminology, there is obviously concluded terms, you know? Like, f uh, flop, turn, river. Duh. But, like, ha things like bet. Bet, I think some schools has like a meaning determining based off your position where I think bet like the one big blind bet from the big blind it's a bet even though it's a, a forced bet you know that's bet number one pwn diddy raising 2.2 .2 is bet number two but then it's like it doesn't matter what position you're in In the end, I'm just going on rambles that don't make sense. Queen Jack here with top pair. Pwn Diddy with middle pair. Boo biddy do. Raffle shove. Betting full pot here. Getting a nice juicy value bet in. The lines go up, and that's a huge one sliding raffle shoves away. Almost catching back up to Amadi here. Bum, 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 bum. Pwn Diddy with the 8-8 eight, eight facing the raise. 26 blinds. We'll rip it on in. You know, I just keep thinking about poker terminology. And it's just like, I think always we see three of a kind here versus bottom pair. Maybe you should shut up and call the action. Well, like, I'm thinking, like, the amount of times I misspeak where it's... What goes on in my head versus what comes... No, a three on the turn. So what com goes on in my head versus what comes out of my mouth is often different. It's just like in your head, you have time to think about things. When you're speaking, you're sort of just in a flow where you just let things come on out. So then sometimes in your head, things sound so wonderful. And then you speak them out. And they just come out so poorly as the top boat gets a nice big juicy value bet. Raffle shove down to 37 blinds. He gets thrown the, the crying emoji. That's horrific news. But I mean, it's good news for Amadi, who's up to 77 blinds now. Like I was saying earlier, getting or er, being nice and patient. They're still playing a lot of hands. It's just when it comes down to things, they're, they're thinking things through. Finding good spots, getting their value bets in, and as well finding folds when they shouldn't be making hero calls, which is wonderful. It's fun to see because they're still thinking about it. They're still thinking about making the hero call. But then you can see they conclude as they hit fold. They're like, no, not this time, bucko. You're not getting a fucking chip out of me. That's how I see Amadi. Queen Jack with the top is the pairs for Pwn Diddy. Going for a nice four big blind value bet here. King Queen with a straight draw to the 10. Oh, a 10 on the river. No, Pwn Diddy has a straight as well. The absolute nards for Raffle Shove. Oh, no, and he bets 10%. Pwn Diddy will raise this. Oh, no. Pwn Diddy is going to be in a complete pickle here. 7.5 blinds is the re-raise. Raffle shove with king and a queen. All in dealer. Snap call and Pwn Diddy is out of here in second place. 
Well, 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 we finally get the heads up battle between Rafflesheff and Amadi. Queen, queen to start us off. 5 3 does call. Queen 10 5 3. Or, sorry. <laughs> queen 10 5 flop. Do biddy do. Queen, queen bets a big blind and a half. What a cooler that was. 10 on the river. Both players make a straight. Or awful shove with the nuts. Interesting betting on the river too. Leads out 10%. See a nice healthy raise for about a third of Pwn Diddy's chips. Um, ba -bum -bum. Raffle shove jams and he gets full value. But at the very least he pretty well tied up Amadi. So we'll have a fun little heads up battle here. Playing about 70 big blinds deep. Ace, ace, jack, flop. 3-3 three, three, still sitting pretty. Just sweating the 7 and the 6. The 1.5 blind. Bet in position will get through anyhow. So we move along. Amadi's picking up some shitty hands here to start things off. Laying down the 5 deuce. Has an ace and a 6 in the big blind. Surely we go to the flop here. Thinking about re-raising. Place call. Queen 10 and 5 flop. Flop goes check, check, queen on the turn. Amadi with the ace high, checking it over. Raffle shove checks back and he bangs off a king on the river. Mm -hmm. Not a good card for ace high here. Some straights get there. There wasn't any flushes out there, but a full pot size bet here. Ace high could be good. Does a king go for full pot? Obviously, as Raffle Shove shows up with King Deuce. Nice fold from Amadi. And we move along 9 7 versus 8 7. King 10 3 flop. Shouldn't see too much action. Amadi bets a blind and takes it down. 2.5x raise from Raffle Shove continues. Amadi calls with the ace 8 flop and top pair here. Thinking things through, checks it on over. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Raffle shove does the standard 1.5 big blind bet. Quick call from Amadi, and he bangs off another ace on the turn. So many flush draws out there. Raffle shove might try to buy the pot at some point. We get a 10 on the river. Flop goes check, check. Or sorry, turn goes check, check. After the small bet on the flop, Amadi leads on the river with the boat. No action to be had here, though. Jack 8, flop in the straight draw to the 7 or queen. Amadi with the backdoor diamonds. Backdoor straight draws as well. We get an 8 on the turn. And a check, check, six on the river. Do biddy do, do do biddy do, do do biddy do. One big blind bet by Raffle Shove, and a quick call from the pair of sixes. Seven blind slides Raffle Shove's way. He's got the ace and the jack. Do biddy do, bet in a blind on the eight eight. Three flop. Amadi check raises with three in a row. Quick call from Raffle Shove with the backdoor uh, flush draw. Two over cards. Thirteen blinds in the middle and seven high. Bet 16.5. Ace jack folds. Huge pot slide in Amadi's way just because, you know, he had seven high. Doesn't look like he's going to win that one too often. Doesn't pick up any equity on the turn. Still fires away. Queen, queen, getting a little action from the jack six who's open ended. Any five or ten will do for Raffle. Instead, we get a nine on the turn. Amadi's queens are holding up for the time being. Bet 
getting quite large on the turn. Almost seven blinds into just a little over 11. The bet gets through. We move along. Amadi with 82 blinds to Raffle Shove's 50, almost 60 blinds. Do ba do do. Amadi walking it out. Had had or has had quite a few shitty hands from the button so far. In the big blind, laying down six three. Just moving along, being patient is Amadi. Boo it do da do but it do. It is kind of crazy. It's like I don't even really care who wins between these two, as it's been quite the show from both both of them. As Amadi's kind of taught us how to play the second place position stack. Rafflechov showing you how to play the first place position stack, and then soon as it changes, they follow suit. Two two strong players were playing heads up. Started off about seventy big blinds deep each. Mm mm mm. 3-4 does bang off the straight on the river here. Raffle shove with a, a flush blocker. He overbets. Amadi gonna find the call. Do bitty do. Will he raise? Not likely. Paired board. Flush gets there. Feels like a call. And Amadi sees the great news. 92 blinds. Ace in it. Oh no, that's a 10 jack, not an ace in a jack. Raffle shove has the ace. 10 jack flopping the straight draw to the 7 or queen. Do buddy. Excuse me. Raffle shove picking up a straight draw to the 3. The ace high is still good. We'll see if he puts out a bet. Nope. Jack on the river giving Amadi the best of it. Do buddy do betting four blinds raffle shove with the ace high diamonds complete. Ten queen makes a straight. Ten seven makes a straight. Six sevens a straight. Holy shit! And we got ace deuce. Looks like a fold. <clears throat> do, do 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 five eight going for the raise. Four four for Amadi calls. King nine eight flop. Bottom pair versus an under pair. Flop goes check, check. Six of spades on the turn, giving Amadi some outs to the spades. Turn goes check, check. King on the river. King of clubs. Spades don't get there for Amadi. Looks like five blinds, maybe another little bit. 3.5. Will Amadi call here with the pair of fours? Do buddy do da da buddy do. He does find the call, blocking some flushes. Bad timing, unfortunately. Nice thin value bet there by Rafflechev, betting 3.5 into about five blinds. <coughs> Excuse me, with the underpair, or with the bottom pair, getting called by the underpair. You know what I'm trying to say. Six four with a pair of sixes. Five deuce with a straight draw and flush draw. It misses. Eight of diamonds on the river. Raffle shove bets full pot and Amadi quickly calls. And another one sliding Amadi's way. Do betty do da da betty do. Top pair versus the straight or backdoor straight draw, backdoor flush draw. Nope, no backdoor flush draw for Raffle shove. I lied. I thought he had 9 3 of spades. Ace of diamonds on the turn after a bet and a call. Amadi with the diamond draw. Turn goes check, check, jack of clubs on the river. Amadi betting a big blind and nine high folds. Two playable hands here. The ace six goes for the raise. Raffle shove with queen ten. Calls. 8-7 deuce flop. Two diamonds out there for Amadi. We'll see how he goes about this in position. Betting large on the flop. Oh, when Rafflechove goes for the check raise with the backdoor straight draw, backdoor flush draw. Two over cards. And we get a three bet on the flop from Amadi. 
Another eight big blinds to call, a little bit less. How do we call with queen 10? I don't think we do. I don't think we four bet the flop. He finds the call. Four on the turn. 37 blinds in the middle. No pair. <laughs> no pair versus no pair. We get the 10 of diamonds on the river. So raffle shove finally makes the pair and diamonds complete. Oh no, don't raffle shove. Don't raffle shove. Don't you do it. Check. But then are you check folding? Nope. Probably not. Raffle shove does find the check, but this could be the end of the tournament here, especially with the Queen of Diamonds. Amadi's never checking. He's got the nuts. All in is the bet. Raffle shove is completely dead. Hopefully he can find the fold. What's bluffing you though? What three bet the flop that you beat? Oh no, and he finds the call Amadi finally gets rewarded for their patience i mean not finally but once again gets rewarded for their patience queen 10 with a diamond does feel hard to f uh, fold here oh no raffle shove with five seconds left in the tank the time bank finds the call sees the bad news amadi gets the w i guess we'll quickly take a look and see where he started this bad boy off at 45 blinds to Ruffle shows 101. <clears throat> Dang, Tremendo with 50. Pwn Diddy with 44. It felt like these guys got short real quick. Ruffle should have found a way to take down some pots. Wow. And then Amadi hung in there, was super patient, coming in here with one of the middling stacks. Hung out, eventually got Ruffle shoved the bluff into him, one big pot. Amadi with a two pair. Raffle shove with pocket threes, I think it was. Wow. That kind of just goes to show you sometimes you don't need to be the most aggressive player. Like, let Raffle shove the big stack do all the dirty work for you. you your, your spot is simply just to hang out, play patiently, and then uh, you'll get rewarded. And if you get unlucky, then you get unlucky and you just go cry to your mama. Just go let her know how you feel. Nothing wrong with that. Anyways, I suppose that's the end of the show. So if you made it all the way through, thanks for checking out this bad boy. This is a very, very fun fi uh, fun final table. 25k in Scoop 2024. Thanks again to BCP Poker Replays for all the videos. Hopefully we'll get another one coming out soon. That would be fun. Past two days he's got some coming out. Or the past two days he's had some come out. So that's that's been awesome. Um... Yeah, so I suppose that's the end of the show. Alrighty. Adios, amigos.